In part one, Kennedy and I left Silicaga on our way to Dauphin Island. Along the way, we had some amazing sights and landed at Jeremiah Denton Airfield that juts out into the Gulf of Mexico. After landing, we took a walk across the island to Pirate's Cove Bar and Grill, where we ate some amazing food and had a good time. After lunch, we headed back to the airfield so that we can get back in the aircraft and head back home. If you haven't watched part one, I encourage you to go ahead and pause this right now and go watch part one before continuing. Welcome to being up in the sky. November 29274, Birmingham, approach request. Airshell 6134, maintain 3000, uh, turn right at 8150, now to turn Birmingham. will be uh, 1 to 2 o'clock and 8 miles. Number 29274, Roger, radar service terminated, clock via far and uh, change my frequency approved today. All right, about to get back on the plane. Just had our mile and 1.1 mile, 1 .1 mile 1 .1. hike back. It's great food. I'm sure you'll see that on footage and everything, but uh, oh, this is gonna be really hot. Very hot. How about you going first? Yeah. <laughs> is it unlocked? He's locked it. No, it's unlocked. Back on the door. That's great. Yeah. It's actually, I mean, it's hot, but it's not that bad. As we prepare for departure out of Dauphin Island, the plan is to head over across the bay and land at Foley Municipal Airport to fill up our fuel tanks before heading home. While the aircraft could probably have made it to Silicaga with fuel reserves, both Kennedy and I are very cautious when it comes to fuel levels. One of the primary causes of off-field landings is fuel exhaustion, not something we want to experience. My personal rule in VFR is to the destination plus one hour of fuel reserves. Uh, yes. So, if we're not in the air by then, I'm dumping power, full brakes. Okay. Forty knots. There's fifty. There's 54, 64, missed that bird. Yep. Let me know when we over treetop. We are. Yep, we are over treetop. All right, gonna start pushing it over, get some more speed in. All right. 70, take that one notch down. Traffic bullets, traffic bullets, traffic bullets, traffic bullets. And next one. All right. And we're After filling up on fuel, we departed Foley on our way home to Silicaga. Unfortunately, the auto recorder battery died just before we descended into Silicaga, so instead of hearing our voices, we just had to be entertained with music. Sometimes though, I enjoy a good soundtrack and amazing visuals. Flying never gets old, and I love sharing with others, and that's what this is here for. Speeds of 40 knots is 50. 55. We're going to route 69. Yeah, 
blowing around a little bit. Yep. a little bit, get some airspeed, get that last notch out. Now bring it on her up. Now she'll really climb out. Fully traffic, departure 200274, turning right to crosswind. Going to be parting right downwind to the north, fully. Foley traffic, Archer 200, 274, right down one, runway 18, departing the area to the north, Foley. That is some pretty water. All right, up in the air, on the way. Yep.
got back, we're in Silicaga again. Had a relatively smooth flight on the way back and stopped to get fuel fully. As you guys saw, came in, landed. Didn't have to dodge the rain as much as we th thought we might have, but uh, made it back safely and we'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, she got a she got a blister on her foot. So advice, wear thicker socks. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that. You guys know what to do. Hit that join button. Help support me. A little two bucks a month. Help support the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all next time up in the sky.